Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook banner cover image for your Facebook business page. I'm going to support, I'm going to create a Facebook cover image for the soul of social media. I'm going to use that image deck that I sent you, the link to the infographic that I sent you to find out what size my image needs to be. And here it says my Facebook cover image needs to be 820 by 312. So I'm going to go to Canva and I'm going to put that those dimensions in here. 820 by 312. 820 by 312. It's going to create a blank cover image. I have already uploaded the soul of social media, um, which is my logo. And I'm going to put this over here. And I just I had uploaded that previously, put it on the, the slide deck here in the image, and then I'm going to add some text. And let me just grab that. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to grab, that's for sure. And then uh, I'm on answering your social media questions. Q-U-E-S questions. <laughs> there we go. You are YouTube playlist. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to put a little arrow in here to show some traction. I want to have, have it a little, little bit fun. So I'm going to say, let me grab, I'm not loving any of the ones I'm seeing yet. Maybe if I do a purple arrow, I'll find it again if I could spell. Oh, those are better. Let's see. Oh, I'm liking this one. I'll say that. Resize it. View our YouTube playlist. And that's that. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Put that there. I'm going to say Soul of Social. Facebook cover. So I know what it is when I download it. And I'm going to click download. Now, the one thing you need to remember is your Facebook page has to be a business page, not a page on your social media personal account, on your Facebook social media account. It needs to be a business page. So when I log in to Facebook, I would have my pages over here that I'm an administrator for. So I'm actually going to go to my pen heel one. I'm going to click edit, upload my photo. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and grab the soul of social media cover. And there is my picture. Now, how do I make this actually work? When I've uploaded the picture, it will show up in my photos section. So I can go to my photos. Here's the picture and I can add a description here. The soul of social YouTube playlist is and here it is. Here's the playlist. is here. I'm going to get a little bit there. That's going to be a link. I can say done editing. So what happens is when someone goes to click on the picture, I'm going to say done editing. Let me go to view. I want to look for pen heel marketing. I might not be able to see the same way that you guys see it. I should be able to click on this and it will take me over to the playlist. And there you have it. So I have an ability now to use my Facebook cover as
as a lead generation option. So think about this when you're creating your profile covers. Is there an opportunity for it to be a lead generation opportunity for you? Now, not every platform allows the linking feature. For example, LinkedIn doesn't have this. You can put a cover in there, but it doesn't allow you to click on it like you can on Facebook. Twitter allows you to put a cover again. You cannot click on it like you can Facebook. Instagram does not have a cover. YouTube has a cover, but you can't click on it. Um, you can see my cover on uh, my channel here. There's my cover image up there. Um, it's not clickable, but it does say who I am and what we do. So when we're thinking about our cover image, definitely consider if you can make it a lead opportunity for you. So that's that. Easy peasy, simple to do, can be very effective to draw leads or sales to your business.